Let's talk about Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick's legacy. 24 years as head coach of the New England Patriots. He has an overall record of 266 wins, 121 losses. And that's with New England. Overall, he has 302 wins, 165 losses, because you know he coached Cleveland beforehand and years ago and all that. And now his record with Brady was... No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) I ain't going to deal like that. But no, he's got... He's won six Super Bowls. Five to one. Five to one ratio. (laughs) Belichick's won six Super Bowls as head coach of the Patriots, and he had two more as the Giants defensive coordinator. So -hmm. he's got eight Super Bowls total as a coach. He's won 17 division titles. He has the most Super Bowl wins as a head coach in NFL history. He has the most playoff wins as a head coach Mm -hmm. in NFL history. He has the most divisional championship as head coach in NFL history. Brand that division. He has 31 playoff wins. That is a record. Mm-hmm. What I'm hearing now is he's going to complete a second interview with the Falcons. He's interviewing he the Falcons and uh, potentially to keep coaching, man. So uh, mm-hmm. that's when I, when I originally wrote this log, like what we were going to talk about, I'm like, does he continue coaching? Does he hang it up? What's he going to do? It's mm-hmm. obvious he's he's interested. He in, yep, he wants to coach still, man. He's only 26 wins away from breaking Don Shula's record for the most wins all time by a coach, bro. Mm-hmm. That, could be two years, that could be two years, three years away. You know? Bingo. Bell's at 302. Don Shula is at 328. So, I mean, he could definitely do it, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, what do you think's next for Bill? Bro, he didn't been back to Atlanta two times, man. I don't see what he sees in that roster, but it's <laughs> probably going to be probably got to grab a quarterback from somewhere, bro. He must have something up his sleeve. He got to because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to run with that roster, bro, you know? I mean, so he's going roster, to Atlanta? You calling it now? He going to Atlanta? Mm, I don't want to call that just They yet, said bro. Jim like Harbaugh was having a second interview with him too. Atlanta. Oh, really? Yeah, so okay, okay. that might not be nothing mm-hmm. written in stone yet, but I would think he would go with a more of a powerhouse team, whatever, with all that stuff in tech. Since uh what his name is McCarthy. McCarthy, he's he's coming yeah, back. He's staying, he's staying. Like I don't know what kind of decision making man Jerry Jones got going on, bro. You 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 supposed to get that guy, bro. Keep him on, and then you be like, okay, well you fired and you hired for real. <laughs> Pack your stuff up or whatever, and come on in, you know. So Mike McCarthy's a good coach for him though, because he's a good puppet. He's gonna do what Jerry Jones tells right, him to do. And he's gonna, he yeah, and, and that's, that's what, what he needs me. exactly. And that's that's what you were telling me. Too. Right. Not every coach is gonna get in there and take that shit. They're going to be like, no, that's why Jimmy Johnson left the Cowboys years ago. You know what I mean? He could not work with Jerry Jones, bro. And that right. man brought you Super Bowls. Come right. on. Exactly. exactly. So, I've seen that. Bill Belichick. So Falcons, maybe, huh? Maybe. I could see it, man. I definitely could see it. I, when we talked about Jim Harbaugh, I was like, man, I don't see Jim Harbaugh going there. I, I just mm-hmm. don't. I don't know with the fit, not with everything. But I think Bill would do good with the Falcons, man. I really do. With the running game and the defense, right? I it's, think he would do good over there, bro. But he's used to. Mm-hmm. They'd have to get a quarterback. They would draft a quarterback. Bill's not going to run with no Desmond Ritter. I'm going to tell no, you right no now. No way. No way. So. There's a lot of quarterbacks coming in, though. So, like I say. You, there you is. It's choose, deep. You got to choose. You got to choose who you want. It's deep. They could get J.J. McCarthy. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Bill Belichick, greatest NFL coach of all time? I think so. I think so. Even though he had Brady all those years, the, the kind of cushion the fall, you know, but you got to give it to him, bro. I mean, if I don't say he's the top, I definitely think he's like top two, top three. I mean, I can't mm-hmm. sit here and make debates and slack, cut into the man like why he's not like the nut. His numbers don't lie, bro. His record mm-hmm. doesn't lie. That's and I, I, you know, you know how I widely regard Brady as the go, obviously, mm-hmm. and greatest of all time. But to me, it was they were hand in hand doing that. I don't. Bill wouldn't have been as great without Tom, and Tom wouldn't have been mm-hmm. that great without Bill. I credit them for each other. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Right. It's about mm-hmm. how much and percentage or whatever we can get into all that, but not today, man. I'm not gonna sit here and shit on Bill Belichick. He is goaded, definitely one of the best. Goated, definitely. You know? And I do credit and, him and, and in our time. Community. In our time, he of course he the goat. right. That's he that's all goat. we can go on is like what mm-hmm. we what we've witnessed in our lifetimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my 30s, you're in your 40s. You know, cats in their 50s and 60s feel different than us. And cats else, younger right. than us mm-hmm. are going to feel differently by the time it's all said and done. So that's how it is, man. But Right. Proof in the pudding, bro. Proof in the pudding, for real. Put the numbers down that hey, he can go up against anybody. No doubt. 